Reflective. Sharon Hornells from here, but you can call me Pajama Grandma. In case you haven't met yet, go and put a hashtag pajama in the comments below. So I know it's the first time you're being exposed to the Pajama Grandma and all my unique perspective on whatever. Uh, this is the segment where I talk about my transition from the brick and mortar world of business, which I like to call the real world of business, to the online world of business as I'm transitioning and on a mission to duplicate the success I had in the offline world and traditional business in the online world because they're two very, very different things. I didn't necessarily think so or know when I started my journey 299 days ago. Today is day 299. And I actually started my journey before then. I just started documenting my journey 299 days ago. I began this journey after I um, stopped doing my Italian food manufacturing business in no well actually in august we stopped doing the business for a bunch of reasons that i'll explain at another time um many of which are just circumstances and things that were outside my control but it was my choice to take a hiatus from that business and we sold the building that it was located in on november 1st of 2016 so in really november 2016 i did a bunch of traveling um, and helped my daughter move from Montana to Colorado to be with her husband, who was um, being a journeyman lineman, and did a bunch of other things, took some time off, and then quickly realized in like January, well, what the heck am I going to do? I'm, I'm old, my grandma, but I'm not old enough to, to stop doing anything, and I've got too much energy, so I can't just stop doing anything. So I started looking for things. I started looking online because it was easy. I was home, and I could had access to the internet and like, well, what is possible? What is there to do? And I, I looked at a lot of different things, but what got my attention was a software program called ClickFunnels. And I jumped into that with both feet, became a certified partner and started doing just different things with ClickFunnels and discovering the incredible power of taking an offline brick and mortar world and adding just a, an online component to that. Because as our world is changing, as we are getting more technical, there are still hundreds of millions of businesses that have not really got an online internet presence. And I'm not talking about websites. I'm not talking about anything here, but every business can benefit by having an online presence, a local business. And most of them don't know that. And most of them don't have it. So that became kind of my mission was to help people understand the power of having that perspective and that component. Nowadays with cell phones, which I'm filming on mine, so I can't grab it and show you. The kids, my kids even, and they're in their 20s, everybody grabs a phone and as soon as they hear about a business or a thing or a brand, the first thing they do is they go online and they look it up on Google usually or whatever if it's a, I don't know, I'm not an iPhone gal, but whatever iPhone's equivalent is or Firefox or Bing or whatever search engine that you happen to have on your device in your hand, people immediately go look it up. And if you don't have a presence... People are not going to find you. And if people don't find you, you don't stay in business very long. So I got really excited about that and jumped into that and started learning about that and helping businesses and business owners do that. Now this year, as I started documenting my journey, I'm like, I need to do what I teach other people to do. I need to narrow my focus and, and hone in on who is it that I really want to work with? Who is it that I really want to serve? Because like most people, I've had customers in my brick and mortar businesses in the past and even in my online businesses since I started this journey that weren't ideal. They're not the best people that I should be working with. And in different businesses in the past, I, we had customers and clients that weren't ideal. I think of my Italian food business. I had a, our biggest client we had to let go because they were not good for us and they weren't good for our business. We had to let several real estate clients and customers go because they weren't good for me and good for our business. I actually had to let that whole business go after my sudden cardiac arrest. I had to stop doing real estate because I found it soul sucking. Now, there's a lot of people, there's hundreds of thousands of people that love real estate, including my ex-husband loves real estate, but he does the pieces of real estate that he liked. I was doing the pieces of real estate that I didn't like so much and that weren't good for me, my heart, my life, my soul, my being, and I had to stop doing them. Ouch, I got a puppy scratch on my foot. Good morning, Chaco. Um, so what I'm reflecting on today is it's my father's birthday. My dad died three years ago on December 21st of brain cancer. And he was by far my favorite person in the whole wide world and my hero. And so I'm reflecting on missing him today. I always keep a little Pillsbury Doughboy above my 
uh, phone when I'm recording to smile at and try to remember to look at so my eyes don't look so crazy, but I'm not very good at it yet. But I'll keep practicing. That's why I do the videos every day. Uh, to remind me of my dad and to remind me that even though he's gone, I know his spirit and his, his being are still with me. And I miss him every day and I wish I had him to talk to, especially when I'm struggling with different things. But I guess I still do kind of talk to him. But that we still move forward. Those of us that are still here, we still keep putting one foot in front of the other and moving forward. Knowing, I like to think, knowing that someday we'll, we're all together again. Um, that is just my own personal belief. Don't have to believe it or not. Just what I choose to believe. So I'm reflecting on that. I'm reflecting on all the things I need to do today and want to do today. And some of them are fun. Some of them are challenging. Some of them are downright scary. But I'm going to do them anyway because that's what moves me forward and gets me out of my comfort zone. And I'm all about getting out of my comfort zone this year. Today was day 312 of the Daily Scare Share, which is a daily um, video share that I do, mostly to hold myself accountable to doing it every day, um, going along with a journal called Do One Thing a Day That Scares You. And it's just about stretching your comfort zone, doing one little thing every day to expand and grow and be more of the person that I know I'm, I'm here to be. So that's it. That's what I'm reflecting on today. I'm reflecting on what's been working, what's not, what I need to change, what I need help with, what I'm excited about, what I'm going to stop doing because it's it's not making me happy and it's not very effective and it's just a lot of busy work and see what I come up with. I wish you an absolutely fabulous day. I hope it's sunny in your neck of the woods or was a sunny day whenever you're listening to this and that you know that whatever you need, whatever you want, it's already within you. You've got this. Just like I know I've got this even though sometimes I forget. And and our life is about being ourselves and, and experiencing whatever life dishes out to us as only we uniquely can and making the best of what we can out of every situation. All right. Catch you tomorrow. Bye.